What is up guys? Welcome back for the round three. For the round three? Round three of the official ladder tour. The Small Gone official ladder tour. I'm stumbling over my words right now. I'm really sorry. It's really early in the morning when I'm recording this, but uh, this is a team that I really wanted to bring to you guys, uh, making it as a, an OU live, of course. We've got a very interesting team that was used by Blender on one of his lives, and it's from the RMTs, the Rate My Teams. If you don't know Small Gone or Sh Pokemon Showdown at all, definitely check it all out. But uh, this team has... Very cool sets. Uh, at the point I am in the ladder, though, it's getting kind of risky to use it because a lot of people know about this team. But um, it's basically King's Rock, Shell Smash, Substitute Cloister to beat Stall, uh, as well as um, Banded Weavile, Scarfed Jirachi, and Scarfed Chandelure. Focus Sash, Excadrill to get up rocks. Uh, turn 1 Toxic as well on there. And uh, we also have Altaria, which is a mixed attacker with uh, Hyper Voice, Earthquake, Fire Blast, and Roost. So let's jump into a game right away here. We do get one right off the bat, which is cool. Against Foam Fire. All right, what do you got, Foam Fire? Um, I see Excadrill as a perfectly safe lead um, because he does have the Gyarados. He does have the Magneton, uh, Magnezone, which doesn't knock me out turn one. Uh, he does lead with Clef, which is awesome because I'm threatening this thing immediately. Uh, I'm going to go for the Stealth Rocks here because he actually stays in just to Moonblast. Okay. Uh, I'm going to go for the Earthquake on this turn as he goes into Excadrill. Is he Balloon? Uh, no he is not, so he's getting clean knocked out by this. Goodbye, Excadrill. Alright, uh, Garchomp does come in. I am probably gonna switch into Altaria, or I might just... Yeah, I'm gonna throw out a Toxic, as we actually miss, unfortunately. Uh, he goes for his Rocks. I'm going to... Uh, I think I'm gonna switch into Altaria on this turn. I think. Um, getting rid of these Rocks is pretty crucial. Because Cloyster wins if they're gone. Then again, I can still set up on this. Yeah, I'm going to go into Altaria. I'm going to play it risky right here. As uh, he does go for the Dragon Tail and gets a crit. That wouldn't have knocked me out, but all right. Uh, I'm going to go into Cloyster on this turn. And we're just going to fire off an Ice School Spear because I'm expe expecting a Dragon Tail again on this turn. He shouldn't go for anything else. He can switch into his Magnet Zone, but he actually goes for Earthquake and he is faster than us. But we are going to be able to knock him out with this Ice School Spear, which is awesome. We can Healing Wish this thing back up later as well. He goes into Magnet Zone. Uh, I don't know if I necessarily expect a uh, an Electric move to come out here. I'm going to go into Chandelure just in case he goes for the HP Fire. As he goes for the Flash Cannon, actually, which is awesome because we were able to catch that. And uh, now I'm going to throw out a... Uh, probably a Fire Blast is safe. Yeah, Fire Blast is safe. Uh, we actually miss, so very unfortunate. Uh, he goes for another Flash Cannon, sees what we're locked into, and he'll be able to switch into his Gyarados. He actually stays in with his Magnezone, which is awesome. We're able to knock that out. Uh, if his Gyarados comes in, I'm not necessarily scared because this is his Mega. And I'm just going to go straight into Jirachi on this thing, I think. Um, yeah, I'm going to go straight into Jirachi. This should be his Mega in theory. It is, okay. And is he going to get up a DD? He is, which means we outspeed, we go for the U-turn, we bring this thing into, I don't know what range, uh, we're gonna sack off Chandelure, I think, um, yep, yeah, Chandelure goes down here, as, uh, let's see if he goes for another DD, uh, he goes for Crunch, awesome, okay, so we go back into Jirachi now, and we kill this thing with U-turn, whew, alright, <laughs> got out of that one alive, and, um, he's actually gonna go in his Clefable, which is fine, as now his entire team is grounded, so I could just bring in Excadrill here and just go for the Earthquake. Um, did he take damage from the rocks just now? No, he didn't. Okay. Gonna go for the Earthquake. I was about to go for Toxic right there. Chooses to go into Amoongus. That's perfectly fine. Uh, I'm gonna let this thing go to sleep because I don't really care <laughs> if this thing is awake or asleep. Uh, I'd rather have this as Sleep Fodder. He actually chooses to go for a Giga Drain, so not the best play. Let's his Amoongus go down. I'm also still faster than the Gyarados. He goes into Clefable, though, and I'm just going to go into... Do I still need this? Not really. I'm just going to Earthquake and uh, bring this thing down to 47%. He goes for the Moon Blast. We're going to Earthquake again. Basically, he has to uh, Soft Boiled stall me, uh, as that looks like what he's going to be doing. Uh, we are going to get that off. Uh, this is going to be a stall uh, end endgame right here, guys, so uh, be prepared. He'll eventually attack me. I mean, he has no reason uh, to do this infinitely. I'm just going to keep going for Earthquake. And uh, he's just going to keep going for Soft Boiled. That's fine. Uh, eventually, he'll get up to full, and he's going to have no choice but to attack me. We actually get a crit on that turn, and he goes for Moon Blast. That's really unfortunate for him, because we will knock him out with the next one. On the turn, he decides to attack, so he does forfeit there. Let's get in, uh, another game right here. 
my opponent's team uh, looking kind of threatening with the uh, with the beat down. <laughs> we got a Landorus T, got a Metagross, we got an Entei, we got this is like HO out the wazoo, man. Um, I'm gonna lead with um, I really feel like leading with Chandelure just to cover the Celebi lead, but his most likely lead is probably the Landorus. I'm gonna lead with Excadrill. We'll see what he wants to do. I really don't like uh, Landorus just getting up rocks turn one. That's like my biggest pet peeve. Um, but on this team, it kind of looks like, well, it would be his rocker, right? That or Celebi, definitely. Go uh, start the timer on this man. What's his name? Ship City Rain? Ship City Rain, Ship Ship City Rain. <laughs> Sorry guys. If you want to click off this video right now, do it. <laughs> that's, that's deserving of of an unsub, of a dislike, of everything in the book. Shouldn't have done that. <laughs> Alright, so we're gonna leave a drill here. Uh, we'll see what our opponent wants to do, and uh, I'm just gonna pause it until he makes a move, guys. Alright guys, so my opponent decided to not play anymore. Um, <laughs> he just never let off with anything. We actually just made it to 1609. I'm currently uh, 43 and 14, which isn't a terrible record as you guys can see right there. Uh, but it's not exactly where I want to be. I want to have a few more wins than that at the moment. Uh, a couple of games that should have gone my way and didn't, but anyway, that's the game we play. Let's move on to the next game right here. And uh, we get one immediately. Bisharp is a problem to this team, just because uh, Cloyster like, can't clean sweep through it. Uh, as well, Mega, Mega Glalie uh, looking kind of threatening. I'm expecting the Landorus lead, which is why I'm actually going to lead off with my Weavile, because I do get a huge amount of damage off on something. And uh, his Landorus is his only rocker, so I'm expecting that, unless Brock's Bisharp, I guess, but um, I'm expecting that to, uh, to probably lead off against me. I do have two Ice types, though, so it might not be the smartest idea. Um, Banded Knockoff, I don't think, takes out Magnazone from full. We can check that out. Choice Banded. Where are you? Choice Band versus Magnazone. He already led Magnazone. Uh, Choice Scarf, let's say. Yeah, Knockoff is... Wait, what? What's going on here? Why is that doing so little? That shouldn't be doing that little damage. Am I like level... What? What is this? Jolly Choice Band? No, this is correct. Everything's right here. Oh, no, no, hold on. I have knockoff set to 40 base power. Yeah, that's more like it. Okay. Uh, it's definitely not taking it out, though. Uh, he does lead with the Magnazone, in fact. Um, I'm probably just going to go in a drill here. I have no reason not to. Uh, as he does go for the double into Landorus. Wow. Okay, that was that was ballsy. Um, I guess he expected that. Going to go for uh, Stealth Rocks. I can't believe he just switched in his Landorus on a Weavile. That's pretty crazy. I'm going to go into Altaria here, because I eat up any hit, uh, except the Stone Edge before Mega Evolution, which is unfortunate, but there's nothing I can do about that. He does go for the Earthquake, though. That's great. Uh, and we're going to go straight for the Hyper Voice, because he does not have a solid switch in on his entire team. Let's his Landorus take 62%, which is awesome. I'm going to go for the U-Turn, and I'm expecting probably Glalie to come out here. Uh, even though it takes rock damage. Uh, that or... I guess Diggersby if it has enough speed investment. But he doesn't know that. So maybe Starmie as well. Starmie's viable. Uh, if Starmie comes out, I go into... Um, into Jirachi immediately. He does go into Bisharp, actually. Um, I do have Fire Blast for this, and I'm curious to know if it takes it out. Uh, let's see. Altaria. I've never been put in this situation before where somebody actually switched in their Bisharp on my Altaria. So, it might also be Scarf, so I'm going to have to, like, maybe work around that. But, um, Offensive Dragon Dance, but we're actually 252. Uh, Modest Nature with uh, Fire Blast. Fire Blast versus, let's say, uh, Bisharp. Uh, Salt Vest. Uh, Fire Blast doesn't do enough. Earthquake, uh, that's with a lot of attack investment, so that's not doing enough either. Uh, I could just go... I don't really have a solid switch to this thing. That's the problem. Yeah, I think I just have to go for Fire Blast right here. As we are able to do 57%, that is definitely, definitely AV. Um, he could predict the next Fire Blast and switch out into... Into what, actually? He doesn't have a switch into a Hyper Voice. Yeah, I'm going straight for Hyper Voice. If he goes for Sucker Punch, that's fine. I can Healing Wish this thing up later. I guess he expected a switch. I couldn't really switch it out on this thing. He does go for a Sucker. Uh, gets knocked out by the Hyper Voice right here. And uh, now I'm definitely in range of whatever Glalie wants to do. 
However, I do have a solid switch into this, being Chandelure. I doubt he'd Earthquake here. Uh, wouldn't be the... Well, I mean, it wouldn't be a terrible play. I quad resist his Ice Stab with Oyster, and I have a lot of defense, so I could go into that and then fire off an Icicle Crash. Uh, not an Icicle Crash, an ice, uh, Icicle Spear, excuse me. Um, yeah, I'm gonna go to Ploister, because I eat up an Earthquake, I eat up uh, pretty much any Ice move he wants to go for. Does just go for the Ice Shard, that does 3%, and uh, we just go for a sub right here. Shell Smash wouldn't be a great idea in case he explodes. Uh, you know what, let's just go for the Rock Blast on this turn. He does go into Starmie, which is good. Uh, we are able to get off a, a pretty big hit on this, uh, about 40%, which is nice. Do get a crit on one of the hits, and he does seem to be leftovers, which is nice. Uh, I can just Shell Smash here if I want to, but that's not my best play. My best play is into Chandelure. If he scalds, he scalds. Uh, if he's a defensive variant, he also does not take us out. I'm going to have to play around the Diggersby. Actually, I can just go for Energy Ball on this thing. Uh, he does go for the Rapid Spin, so we are able to block that. And now I'm just going to go for the Energy Ball because it catches the Diggersby as well as kills this Starmie. So that's looking pretty good. Uh, this guy obviously doesn't know the team very well. Um, but, I mean, he couldn't make any more predictions right there. He had to spin on that turn. I made a prediction earlier with Bisharp, but it cost him his, his best offensive threat against my team. So, this is going to Diggersby. This energy ball is easily going to be able to knock out Diggersby because it's super frail. And uh, now I'm expecting the Magnet... Magnezone to come in, maybe? Maybe? <laughs> I don't know. We'll see. Uh, if Magnezone does come in, I'll stay in because I don't have any more use for Chandelure. And if he predicts my Excadrill and goes for the HP Fire, he's just whittling himself down and then he has to switch into an Energy Ball again. So uh, he is going to go for the Volt Switch. He's going to knock us out. That tells me he's Specs because Chandelure doesn't have the worst special defense in the world. Uh, does go into Starmie. I do have something to outspeed you, my friend. Uh, it's called Weavile. So uh, just going to go into that. And uh, we will just click Knock Off. We'll get an item off of something. And now, after the Rocks and after the Energy Ball, his Magnezone should be in range... Uh, of, let's see, Magnazone, Specs versus uh, Weavile, Life Orb, but with a band, Choice Banded, uh, where are you, Choice Banded, it's a roll actually, uh, 61, uh, he does switch into Landorus uh, and lets it die, okay, just to get off the Intimidate, smart, smart, and uh, now he can go into, I don't know, pretty much anything he wants, uh, Magnazone's not bad, it will definitely be able to live the hit, However, uh, it does have to go for a specific move right here. It has to go for HP Fire on this turn. It doesn't have a choice but to go for HP Fire. So what I'm going to do is... Specs HP Fire shouldn't be able to take out Altaria, right? Altaria... Let's say uh, the defensive King DDD set. HP Fire actually does 13 to 15. Okay, so it does take us out. Um, let's see here. What do I want to do? I kind of want to conserve Weavile because it's still good for the Starmie. It's the only thing that outspeeds it. I think I let Altaria go down here. Yeah, I'm going to let Altaria go down here because it doesn't do anything else this game. He does go for the HP Fire. Uh, that will not be able to knock out Excadrill, I believe. Uh, and we're faster than this thing. We already know it's Specs. Because if it was Scarfed, just to show you guys, if it was any other item, it wouldn't have been able to take out Altaria right there. It would have done 8.7 to 10.4. That's with 248 HP, which I think we are. Uh, I'd have to check my team builder. Hold on, I just want to make sure of this. I'm, I, I'm pretty sure from the damage on um, on Chandelure earlier that that's what it was. But uh, we have 48 HP, actually. So let me just uh, adjust that calc really quickly. That's going to make a big difference, actually. Um, 48. Uh, yeah, no, still. Still, though, he would have needed like an absolute max roll. And then let's check Chandelure. I just want to be sure about this before I do anything. Uh, choice uh, Scarf. Volt Switch is not supposed to knock me out from 75 if he's not uh, if he's not Specs. So I go Drill here. And I go straight for the Earthquake. And I knock something out. He can never outspeed my Excadrill, so this is pretty much something's dead. Something is 100% dead. And... Um, Jirachi beats the rest of his team if he lets the Magnezone go down, so. 
Yep, lets it dro drop. There we go. Uh, basically, if he goes into Starmie here, I Earthquake. If he goes into Glalie here, I Earthquake. No matter what. And uh, if he knocks out my Excadrill, I go into Weavile. I click uh, Knock Off. Knock it out. If he goes into uh, Glalie afterwards, I go into Jirachi. And I just Iron Head Flinch it and kill it, basically. Uh, if he goes for the spin right here, that's a terrible play. Uh, I'm just going to go for the Earthquake. He's actually going to recover. He will not be able to recover off enough damage in time. Uh, I'm doing 59, which is 3 more percent than his recover gives him. So he pretty much has to attack me at this point. Uh, if he gets a Scald Burn, he can actually stall me out. So I may need to sack off my, um, my Cloyster at that point. He does go for the Scald. Does he get the Burn? He does indeed. Uh, so we will die to the next round, though. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually just going to uh, go for Stealth Rocks in case he wanted to spin. Just in case. Uh, now we go into Weavile and we knock this thing out no matter what. And uh, if his Glalie comes in, it also gets knocked out because it's very frail. And uh, at this point, that's GG, I believe. Uh, Glalie comes in, going to go for the knockoff. And uh, that's going to be a dead Glalie. So GG to my opponent. That's going to be two wins. We're now sitting at 16 and 32. We actually got a huge boost from that. Wow, 23 points. All right, next, now into the next battle. Let's see if we can get three wins in this episode, guys. That'd be great. Make up for the two losses I got before starting the recording. But uh, the team is very nice. If you guys want to use it, definitely uh, copy the sets. You'll see them right here. Uh, Cloyster. Okay, I'll just, I'll just bring this up for you guys because you didn't get a chance to see it, but this is Cloyster, this is Altaria, Excadrill, just pause the video, Jirachi, Weavile, and Chandelure. Alright, so my opponent has a Terrakion, which is scary. Uh, he's still on his LT1 account for some reason. Uh, Altaria definitely puts in a lot of work on his team, definitely. I like Altaria as the lead because it matches up well against the majority of his team, including the Terrakion. He actually chooses to lead off with Tangrowth, so I'm curious to know... Uh, sh let's see, Altaria... Altaria... Uh, where's the special attacker? Is there a special attack? Yeah, there we go. Uh, Fire Blast is on there. I want to see how much Tangrowth takes if it's like an AV set. Tangrowth Assault Vest. Uh, it takes 62 to 73, so if it's not a Salt Vest, I can actually knock it out. So let's go for the Fire Blast. Let's see. We miss, unfortunately. It's probably going to go for a, uh, yep, Sleep Powder. There we go. And uh, I'm going to have to Fire Blast again as he switches out into Altaria. And now if I don't get the Wake Up, he is going to be able to knock me out, so i got to be careful with this. I'm going to go into Jirachi because Jirachi pretty much covers this thing pretty well. Uh, he's going to go for the Hyper Voice. He has a special set as well. And I'm going to go for the U-turn here, predicting the Heatran, as he actually brings in the Tangrowth, which is even better. Let's see if he's Rocky Helmet. He is awesome. I'll be able to go back into Altaria now. And if he's Rocky Helmet, that means Hyper Voice should be able to take him out, right? Uh, Hyper Voice does 74 to 87. That's a roll I'm willing to risk in case he brings in his Altaria. So, uh, he does bring in his Altaria. We do not wake up, unfortunately. Uh, let's see if he predicts the Jirachi on this turn. I don't think I really have another play, though. Yeah, I'm going to go Jirachi. And uh, he is going to go for the Hyper Voice again. He's whittling down our Win Con right now. Come on. Uh, I'm going to go for the U-Turn again, I think. Yeah, U-Turn's always my play. As he does bring back in the Tangrowth. Okay, we take one last round of Rocky Helmet. And now I need to wake up. Like, Altaria, you really need to wake up right now. Like, seriously, dude. <laughs> wake up. Um, if we hit the Altaria on the Switch, that's amazing. Like... Yeah, he goes into Heatran, so smart play. All right. Uh, gonna take that, no problem. And I'm just gonna go for the Earthquake on this turn. He actually doubles out into his Landorus. Okay, so this guy knows the team. He knows the team, guaranteed. Uh, I'm gonna go for the Hyper Voice again. Because I don't lose anything. He actually goes for Earthquake. He is Scarfed. Uh, we are gonna get off a huge Hyper Voice right there. Unfortunately, I do not have a switch into this. So I may need to let Jirachi go down. Altaria is still very viable in this game. Uh, I am going to go into Jirachi, I'm going to sack it off as he goes for the Earthquake, and uh, I think now, does Cloyster just set up and win? There's still the Manaphy though, that's the problem, and I can't Healing Wish this thing back up, so i got to be careful about how I go about this. Uh, let's see, I'm going to go into, um, into Weavile, and I'm actually going to Pursuit this thing, and knock it out with that. Lock it in, uh, he actually goes for the Earthquake, uh, as I could have just Ice Sharded, but okay. And we might lose this one, boys. Um, boys and girls, of course. 
I need to... I need to find a way around his, uh, his core. I need to predict the Heatran to come in and go for a knockoff, basically. That's what I need to do. The Heatran comes in now. We know this thing's not scarfed. Uh, and I think I outspeed it with Altaria as well. He's just gonna go for a fire move here. So... I think I sack this off. Then again, this does so much to his team. Like, so much. Without the Lando around, he can't intimidate my Cloister, which is nice. Yeah, you know what? I'm gonna go for the, uh... I'm gonna switch into Altaria. This is what I'm gonna do. He's gonna go for Rocks. I knew that was coming, that's fine. I still have Weavile as a sack, and I can spin away the Rocks later with Excadrill. It's not a huge issue. I'm gonna go for the Roost right here. Uh, he actually goes for the Taunt, so good play. Alright, that's it. I'm catching you this time. I'm going for the Hyper Voice. He's gonna switch out on my Earthquake. I already know. He's gonna go into Tangrowth. Yep. Or Terrakion. Awesome. Okay. So, goodbye. Get rid of that thing. And, uh... Let's see what he does now. Come on, man. I predicted you for once. What are you gonna do? I'm gonna start the timer on him. Put a little pressure on him. See if he likes that. <laughs> I can Toxic the Tangrowth. I can Earthquake everything else. With Excadrill, which is nice. And I can Rapid Spin on pretty much anything. Uh, the only way he prevents a spin is by either going into his Manaphy right now, which wouldn't be a great play because I still have the Scarf Chandelure in the back and he has to know that. Uh, I am going to just fire off a Hyper Voice right here. He goes for the Shadow Ball to try to catch the switch. Lowers my Spit F, which isn't a big deal. I can still come in on the Tangrowth after. He gets the, uh, the Taunt Wears off. Uh, he went for Shadow Ball, okay. Alright, um... He has no reason not to Shadow Ball again, which is what's kind of scary. I'm gonna go into uh, Weavile, I think. Yeah, I don't have another play. I need to keep this alive, don't I? Actually, no, not necessarily. No, I'm gonna go for Hyper Voice again. He actually goes for Scald. He almost didn't knock us out there. Well, I, I mean, he had this but F drop, so probably he still knocked us out, but I'm gonna go into Chandelure on this turn. He should predict the Shadow Ball. Um, or the energy ball rather. I'm gonna go for shadow ball and uh, If I call this wrong, then we lose if I call this right then we're in a good position All right, we catch the heatran with the shadow ball uh, And we will go for another one right now knock this thing down to 29% This is the only thing standing in the way at the moment of a cloister sweep. So he also has taunt He's max speed. I Doubt he'd go for a fire move right here. So I'm gonna go into Drill. There's no way he clicks the fire move. There's no way. Yeah, he switches out into his Tangrowth. Okay, this is good. This is fine. Uh, I can go for the Toxic right here. As he switches out into his Heatran, predicting the Toxic, I guess. You still die to an Earthquake. You still die to an Earthquake, so I don't, I don't really understand the logic. Goodbye, all right. I think I live a Scald from a Manaphy, especially if it's Leftovers. Manaphy, Tail Gold plus three attacks versus Excadrill. I don't have the best special defense, but I have a lot of HP. Um, not bulky spinner. Let's say Sandrush Sweeper doesn't really matter. Skull does 86 to 101. So it is a roll in my favor. Uh, I really want to spin. But I don't know if I'm going to get a chance to. Cloyster wins. Cloyster wins if I get up this, uh, this move, you know. I'm going to go for spin. He goes for Skull. He is able to knock us out, unfortunately. And now it comes down to how long Chandelure can live for. And if I go for a Shadow Ball here, do I lose? Not necessarily. Actually, actually, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go for the Memento. Hopefully he stays in. He switches into Tangrowth, that's unfortunate. Okay, that's fine. Um, however, this Tangrowth has to go for an offensive grass move, doesn't it? And it has very lowered special attack right now. So after a shell smash, I can win. Can this thing knock me out? Cloyster. The janitor. First of all, Manaphy's Scald isn't doing too much. I assume it's Shadow Ball isn't doing too much either to us. 56 to 66, which means we can, we can still shell smash on it unless it's energy ball. In which case that would suck, but I need to check Tangrowth like the standard Rocky Helmet set, like the 
Uh, oh, you... No, 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 no. Are you offensive? No. Are you defensive, maybe? Um, let's try that, yeah. Giga Drain is straight knocking me out if he's at neutral. If he's... Okay, yeah. Nah, I need to go for Spear. I have to go for Spear. As little as it does, I have to go for it. Because it's my only chance at winning. To get a crit on the last one, and he does flinch, okay. Uh, now we can go for another one here. We're able to knock out his Tangrowth. And I have to hope that his Altaria can, is slower than me, actually. Can I hope that? I can't hope that. Let's go. Alright, cool. Altaria was slower, so we're able to get up that spear. And now it all comes down to this. Can I live whatever Manaphy has in store for me? Let's go for the smash. He goes for the Scald. Is he able to burn us? No. We get the Shell Smash off. Guys, it all comes down to this right here. This is the last battle of the episode. If we can get this flinch, if we can land this Rock Blast in the first place, we win. Let's go. Land it. Come on. Three, four. It's not enough. Do we get the flinch? No! No, no, no. no. That's game. That's a great game, though. That's amazing. Uh, I'll take that loss. That's GG, unfortunately. We almost pulled it back with Cloyster. That's what Cloyster can do, man. It can shred through a team, as you, as you guys saw there. Almost, almost saw there. Uh, if, had I gotten that flinch there on the last turn, or have, had I gotten a couple of more high rolls, I might have been able to do it. Maybe one crit on one of the hits, but... Uh, that's gonna be it for this episode, guys. If you enjoyed, make sure to leave a like down below. Uh, subscribe if you haven't already. Check out my Twitter and my Facebook in the description, uh, as always. And I will catch you guys later. Thanks again for watching. Ciao.